Yo, welcome back, agents. Secret Agent Stash here. We are at GIA Headquarters, the Gaming Intelligence Agency. And today is a special day, agents, because one of our top operatives has caught up with the notorious Sebastian Bourget. He's the leader of the Sandbox. It is a game that we have infiltrated multiple times and we've apprehended this number one target and we have him right now. We stuck him in the box and he's ready for an interrogation. Welcome Sebastian Bourget to the box. Are you ready to be interrogated? Oh, I'm so ready for it. Let's go. You're giving up every single detail that everybody wants to know and nobody will tell them. That's what we're doing today. Please don't torture me. You will get all the information you want. I don't want to have to bring out the tools. Don't make me bring out the, put you on the table, <laughs> Sebastian. We don't want to put you on the table. That's, you know, we, we, only, we only reserve that for the really, uh, the really uh, <laughs> resistant guests. We'll say guests. <laughs> guests. Uh, let's just dive into it, okay? Everyone knows the sandbox. I've been covering it here on my channel for many years now. Uh, you guys are, are still building. This is a game that is in early development still, and uh, I'm not going to jump into the details. We're not. We, people know who you are. They know who the sandbox is. If not, go watch my other videos. What I want to talk about today is some of the big questions that people have on their mind. First up, let's go with the heavy hitter. How do you feel about Fortnite Creative 2.0 and Unreal Engine for Fortnite as kind of this brand new competition? in the same arena that the sandbox kind of sits in, right? You talk about your your Roblox, which, is, which I would say was one of the biggest competitions when you talk about a UGC, a user-generated platform for people creating experiences in games. Roblox obviously is the most popular one that people know. And now this puts Fortnite really in that same league in a pretty big way. I'm sure the folks over at Roblox are starting to swear. They're just like, oh my God, guys, what are we gonna do here? I don't know. <laughs> are you feeling the same way? Well, not at all. Actually, like, as usual, like our mission, our vision has always been to empower creator and like, the more creator you get like, uh, to enter like this industry and to try mm -hmm. to bring to life their ID, trying different tools, the better it is. Like, we don't think like they will stay exclusive to one platform or another, but they will experiment right. things and they will see, okay, how Fortnite works and how Roblox works and what Sandbox does as well. Uh, ultimately, I, I believe like the future of gaming is all about like user-generated content, people who can make their own characters, their own levels, and extend the life of their favorite games. And we are no longer talking about games; we're talking about platforms. Roblox is a platform. Fortnite is a platform. Yes. Sandbox is a platform where you will get ton of games on it. Yeah. No, I, I think you're right. I mean, you know, there's competition is healthy. Competition is healthy, I think, mm -hmm. and, you know, we see other smaller, you know, other smaller platforms out there, you know, Core is another one that we, we, we've talked about before, and there's some other ones that, that are kind of doing some similar things, but I think that, you know, the Sandbox has positioned themselves really well when it comes to, like, well, what what's, puts them apart, right? We understand that everyone loves Fortnite, Roblox is really big, what does Sandbox bring to the table that you, uh, that, that you don't get in these other places, right? Well, we know for one, it, it, it blockchain enabled, right? We're not gonna dive too much into that. We understand what that is. We know there's gonna be NFTs. We have all these uh, great things. But one of the things that I've seen uh, that is a big deal here with these you know, creator platforms, these creator focused platforms, like you're saying, where it's all about empowering every player to be able to be a creator and they can create experiences or games or whatever it may be, just maybe a place to, for their friends to hang out. You know, their own cool little, like, mom's basement, but virtual. <laughs> you know? Mom! Mom! We need the meatloaf! Get, bring the chicken nuggets yeah. and the pizza Get rolls! The, Get the pizza rolls, mom! Your party. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but, what is going to incentivize not only, you know, not only, like, your, your casual creator or your casual gamer that wants to create things, but also, you know, solid developers that want to come create full, great level, you know, good level experiences and games that will attract people. What what, what attracts that, you know, what's going to attract them to your platform versus going to a Roblox to, to be monetized or going to a Fortnite, right? Roblox offers 25%, that's it, for creators. That's, that, that's the revenue split that they get 
for anything that's being generated from the content they're created. Now, Fortnite comes out and they say, hey, with uh, Fortnite Creative 2.0, we're going to offer 40%. How do you guys deal with this? What what do you what is the sandbox going to be offering to creators? How does that break down? And is that going to be enough to incentivize people to come over and uh, you know be a part of the sandbox ecosystem? So there's a few things to unpack here. Like first, like what's some of the unique value proposition that sandbox has? I would say the map. Like you don't get that map and those neighborhoods with land on the other platform. And it's something like people understand very well and will play an important role in the content discovery and creating a new social layer where we're not creating a loan and experience, but we're creating it as a neighborhood and we benefit as a neighborhood from the traffic and the success of our surrounding games. The second element is the number of brands and content. 400 brands are present in Sandbox, in fashion, in music, in sport. And it's not like when a brand launch on Roblox or when a brand launch on Fortnite, they do like temporary time limited events and you cannot really use the content to make your own game with. Like it's not true, fully used. True. In Sandbox, it is. Like all the NFTs they point. launch, you can use, you can play, you can create, you can use as your avatar. So you see 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 10,000 collection of Avatar from Snoop Dogg, from uh, Rabbit, 3,000 Rabbits, Mad Balls recently, Gordon mm -hmm. Ramsay. And we keep up seeing like great diversity and mashup of characters. So they really blend together and that's very unique. And you're right, like we are trying to cater to all creators, like small indie, new ones who create mm -hmm. for the first time are attracted because of the simplicity of the tools. But bigger game studio, um, and, and uh, existing uh, game companies will be attracted first like for like being among the first to enter the market and, and build their reputation there where other stores are pretty crowded and it's pretty difficult now to be discovered. And second, True. obviously for monetization reason. Like creators keep 95% of the revenue they generate. What? But it Wait, hold on. No, 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 stop, stop. Step, Seb, hold on. Wait, no, no. I think yes. you just made a big mistake there. The, the, we got to make sure we roll back the tape, guys. We're, we're, we're always saying roll back the <laughs> tape. Did, did you just say what I think you said? Did you just say creators on the sandbox create keep ninety five percent? Yeah, that's the idea. Like ninety. No, that's, that's got to be wrong. Or... No, that's got to be wrong. Wait, wait. Uh, can you confirm that with us? Because wait, wait. Roblox only gives you twenty five. Fortnite only gives you forty. But you guys are giving ninety five percent. Wow. We give you 95% because like you actually decide how you monetize and you sell directly the content in the form of NFTs and that content, you receive the revenue straight to your wallet by the smart contract. So we are not even keeping the money and you have to wait weeks or months in order to receive a wire transfer payment. It's all on chain and thanks to that technology, indeed, directly you get paid. That's a big... It's just like that, right? It's instant. That, well, that's the promise of blockchain and we're turning it through through our platform. Um, we want to empower and f help the developers to find those business models that will help them to succeed. So, so I don't guarantee everyone will succeed on the platform. We want to give them sure. the tools and the autonomy to do so and the freedom of digital asset ownership and blockchain and uh, crypto payments that gives so much more like uh, autonomy, speed, like you choose how you cash out, when you cash out, the exchange rate is not defined by us. Whereas in, in, in Roblox, typically it's centralized. It's decided by uh, yeah. their platform and so they can change it anytime. That's one of the strong appealing points of Sandbox and a great differentiator. No, I think you hit a couple of really good things there. Obviously, you know, the biggest one I would say is that revenue split. This is this is a, something that we see a lot when it comes to user generated content. And let me let me talk about a battle that's similar to this, kind of like side side similar battle, uh Twitch, right? Twitch is going through this right now where they they only get they they give us a smaller percentage cut than YouTube and then Kick comes along and and, they're, and and you know Twitch is like oh we'll give you sixty and YouTube's like, oh we'll give you seventy and, and Kicks like we'll give you ninety five percent and so you're seeing the same kind mm -hmm. of similar like you know incumbent battle of like this very entrenched very big boys kind of you know fighting against the big boys type of battle 
and then so, someone, uh, an underdog coming along and saying, no, this is how it should be. So I, 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 I love that uh, about the sandbox. But the other cool thing that you said too here that I think a lot of people gloss over when it comes to this is the map. Is the map because I think that's actually pretty big. You're right with Roblox. You know, they're all these like little siloed experiences. They're not really connected in any kind of way. You know, the platform connects them, and you can go in there and find little things. But the map is great because it, it's 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 that connectivity. But while you're there, you know, you could be in one experience and you could see some stuff from another experience, right? And then you can use like a little portal thing to kind of hop to that one that's right next door. It all comes down to transportation discovery. And Discovery. connecting you across like other uh, great application or great uh, game and experiences. And we want to change the model. Like the model usually is like uh, stores will feature application and the success of your game will be heavily dependent on that featuring. Featuring on the app store in the, back mm -hmm. in the day when we started mobile was worth millions of dollars of marketing. Yeah. Oh, it changed yeah. like today it's no longer that. And mm -hmm. Frankly speaking, a developer has to spend several hundred of thousands, if not millions of dollars in user acquisition back on the platform to try to grow an audience. And it becomes a more competitive market uh, because, of course, of like now uh, there is this restriction in place where you don't have the tracking of user anymore. Thankfully, because like I think that's been one of the worst things that Web2 brought, like all that data they collect about ourselves. Oh my gosh, all the tracking, yes, wow. Advertising. Yes, so we want to change something that also, I think it's beneficial, it might not be of use at the first sight, but realigning the interest between developers, platforms, and players, where like everybody wins as they experience it, rather than one party try to abuse from the other to make its revenue. Right. I think right. it's a more, much more healthy relationship. I 100% agree. And that, we, you know, a lot of people have raised red flags about the predatory nature of a lot of gaming practices. And so I definitely really appreciate that because I think that truly, I truly believe this and know this that NFTs and blockchain technology do help solve that problem. And it's and it, it baffles me that so many gamers don't see that and they think it's the opposite. They're like, no, NFTs, the, the developers are gonna use them to get more money out of us. And I go, it doesn't have to be that way. Bad developers might do something like mm -hmm. that, but you know, the technology could be used either way. The potential there for a lot of good for our industry is, 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 is palpable. I, I, I can feel it, I know it's coming. Absolutely. And we want to be that platform where like creators will launch their collection of NFTs or avatar and it will be used to drive a synergic relationship with their community. Like the community is involved, support financially through their purchase of content, the, uh, the game or experience to be developed. And so like the creator can then create the experience that fits the demand of that community. And that's something right. that we haven't seen much before. Like before you buy an in-app purchase, there's always this in-app promotion where it's 99% discount uh, only for you at this specific time. Yeah. But, well, <laughs> only what, for what, you. How do you communicate to the developer exactly? <laughs> only for you. Oh, you have it as well. I'm You're so special. Surprised. Oh, and... I'm so special. <laughs> I think we've all seen that, right? And, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's true. And, and you purchase, and you have no say in the future of that game. But that's not the spirit in Web3 and, and blockchain yeah. gaming. When true. you purchase an asset, you are an owner, you are a stakeholder, and you express your voice, like in positive way or in negative way, but you are more heard. Because when you don't like something, you sell your assets. And when you sell your assets, it impacts the floor price. It impacts the economic for the developer and they feel like, oh, something is going wrong here and we need to react. We need to, again, uh, connect with the community, do IMA, yeah. et cetera. You're like, voting with your me, wallet. It, it, it should be like that. Exactly. Yeah, you're voting with your wallet. You're, hey, you know what? I don't like this. I'm voting with my wallet. Boom, here we go. No, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so, no, I, and I totally understand that. I think that that's something that, you know, a lot of people will come to understand as we keep pushing the envelope forward. Uh, now, looking at towards the future here, the big thing on everybody's mind here, Seb. Season four. 
<laughs> when is it coming? All right, it's, all right. If, if you don't tell me now, I'm pull. I'm I'm gonna pull the pliers out. Instead, I said I don't want to have to pull any teeth or or fingernails out. But we need this information now. All right. What if I tell you something even better than season four? Is there something better? Yes. Okay. So here he comes. So basically like the great promise of the sandbox this year is like you will be able as a landowner anyone to self-publish your experience and open it to your community that's yes. coming in q3 and progressively you'll be able to upload all your page uh, metadata description videos and so on and whitelisted creators who are ready will be able to open it hopefully by the summer and then it will come public toward end of q3 so Imagine many, many more experiences to become available. And season four is just like the cherry on top. It becomes like more a curation of the best content made by the community rather mm -hmm. than just a strong, uh, I would say like a funnel of uh, creators uh, struggling to get into it at a certain period of time to maximize right. exposure. Right. So what it means, it's not the end of season. Season is an important mm. way to discover content, to drive engagement, etc. But we want to give much more options for everyone to launch whenever they want. And that's event, that's self-publishing, and that's also season at the end of Wow. The wow. So for every landholder, every person out there that has NFTs in the sandbox, they will be able to go and jump in and 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 have experiences. Does that mean also that the the map will be live in the the entire map will be live? So if I if I have a land over here and it's next to this experience, I'm building on that specific land there on the map, and you'll be able to see it. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. That that's what it should be. Yes. That's what and that's what it should be, and that's what we've been waiting for. So many people talk about this. You know, I will say here, I did a recent tier list with a, I'm not gonna name names, with a with a popular Web3 gamer out there. And uh, he put the sandbox in the wrecked category, folks. The wrecked category. You know, we got S tier, we got A, B, C, D, and wrecked. It's the, la it's the worst one, Seb. He put you guys in the worst one. And I was like, well, seriously, he put you guys below Axie Infinity and Townstar. So I think and, and I, 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 I try to say, what's up? And, it, and I think what it comes down to is really a lot of it is just confusion. People don't understand if they don't, if they haven't dove in, they don't understand. They're like, oh, I, I tried it one time. The game sucked. Like the game, like, and I asked them, what game? What game did you play? And they go, I don't know. It was like a thing. I was, you know, like they, they, they think it's like a one game experience, you know? Like, I think that the, the education just isn't there, uh, which is crazy. Well, I believe like it reflects some its opinion, of course, and probably a part of the community opinion. Like people hear about Sandbox, they come to the website and they see an event ongoing. And that event is indeed reflecting only one or a few experiences that we curated. For example, there was Lunar New Year, there was March Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, we just finished the months of sharing for Ramadan. And now we have all more experience coming on, but just five to 10 and that's it. And so depending when you enter, you might see, oh, that's, uh, is, that, is, is it just that, the metaverse? Right. No, it, it, it's so much more, but we, maybe we don't communicate well enough that Sandbox is still in beta, still in the right, making, yes. and self-publishing as an comment. Yes. So, well, I think it's, maybe it's a reality check. Uh, we need to do better. I'm working to do better to improve our communication. I hear the message of the community. I try to answer as many as I could, uh, as usual. I don't want to deceive that community, and we work hard. Uh, yeah, I know no, no, that, that can be disputed. So, you guys are hard workers, man. Are here? Yeah, you guys are. You guys are a big and, team uh, working hard. I, I know it. I see it every day. So, so I, you know, I, I, I'm convinced, and I, I think. That, but I just, in general, I think th those are the two complaints that I hear the most. A People don't really understand what the sandbox is or what they're doing, you know, what you guys are doing. They don't understand that it's still in kind of a, a beta state. It's not open, but now we're, we know the map is coming here, Q3. Uh, but then the second thing also is is that, um, you know, is you know they're, they're just kind of confused on some of these details, really. They, I, I think they just, mm -hmm. they just don't, you know, like they, they don't have the exposure that they need. Uh, but once that land, the map is open, I think that that's what will really you show people like, hey, you know, 
yeah, you can go and do all these things. And the map is actually there because I, I get that complaint a lot. And, you know, the, the other second one is like, I have NFTs. I can't do anything with them. And I tell people like, well, you could go and download the game maker and start messing around. But, you know, yeah, your land is not on a map right now. But now those people who had that complaint, it will be. So I think that's uh, you know, we're there. We're, we're you know, we're, we're chugging along. This is what we've Even been waiting more. for. Like, wait. Well, you can already do a lot of things with your avatar, your equipment, yeah. and so oh, yeah. on, but yes, well, you'll be able to do everything with all your NFTs, yeah. There you go. That's awesome. So, we so you, guys, you guys heard it here first. Uh, we need to improve. Like, for me, like, it, it's always important to, how do we keep improving? Like, yeah. like the never a situation, whether we are S or Rect, like, we need to keep doing better. That's my philosophy, and that's the part of the company's culture as well. And so, like, you know, like, we are not giving up. We are not, uh, like, stopping anything. We just go on. And I hope that that will be reflected in future ratings. I I agree with you, and I think that's all you can really do. And I applaud you guys because I do think that, you know, I see, I see behind the scenes. I know you guys are a hardworking team. I see everything that's going into this, all the partnerships, all the diversity that you guys bring to the table, which is way bigger than any Web3 project. I think a lot of people forget about that, too. Uh, but the Sandbox, in my opinion is solid S tier, it, it, you know, may, maybe A tier, depending on where we're at right now, but S tier, once that land map launches, the map is out, then then we're, we're, we're S tier for, for the rest of the time here, man. And, 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 and we're going, <laughs> it's, it's nothing but up. We're, go, we're going to the top, Way to man. Go. But you guys heard it here first. <laughs> Q3, land map coming. Everything you've ever waited for in the sandbox will be here by the end of this year. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Seb, for being here with us. I, I know, I know that you know we, we we did obviously kidnap you essentially, and now we've interrogated you. We got all the information we needed. I'm glad we didn't have to pull out any of my special instruments. So that's great. <laughs> um, Oops. <laughs> so I'm excited about this. Yeah, because, you know, the, the, the big thing, too, about this as well, just to, as we end here, is as you guys know, I am building a game in the sandbox. It is a secret agent stash themed game, and it is coming in season four. So that's why we're excited about all these things that are launching and finally be able to reveal this fun secret agent third person shooter game on the sandbox here for mm -hmm. season three coming this summer. Coming this summer. I can't wait to play it. And it'll like be awesome. Everyone who watch your episodes, you play the game, you can reward them with your own NFTs and more. So that's going to be cool. You're going to build a more engaged community around. That's what we're doing, man. We're doing it. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be able to get completion badges for completing each mission and mission exactly. zero. Mission zero more, hitting here in summer. More agents on mission. Yep, I love it. <laughs> Great. Well, once again, thank you so much, uh, Seb uh, Sebastian, for being here with us. Uh, sandbox looking bright. Love it so much, man. Uh, I can't wait to have you back here. Uh, you know, on the in the hot seat, on the interrogation table. We're 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 looking forward to the sandbox here in the summer. But uh, I think that's all we have for today, agents. As always, this briefing never happened. Secret agent stash. Over and out. Secret agent stash. Secret agent stash.